to day 14 of my advent calendar. And today I can finally show you a little bit more of what I've been working on. I was given this room box a few years ago and uh, I'm finally getting around to doing something with it. And it is a really beautiful room box, inside and outside. Very clever, beautifully designed and beautifully finished. And I will show you more of that um, after my advent calendar is finished. So I think that's my final blog of the year or vlog of the year. Um, end of December, I'm not sure when that is, but I will show you everything about it then. And it's, it's really, really fun and clever. Uh, yesterday I showed you, I was working on the wall paneling and there's also a back wall. And these windows came with the room box. I'm not sure I like them, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do something else with them. And this wall panel comes out. It's a bit stiff, but it comes out, it slides up. And then there's um, a little bit of room behind there. And at the moment it has a garden scene in there. So you can look out of the window onto the garden. I have, like I said, these windows and they don't give me any room to display anything. So what I want to do is make much deeper window sills. So that's what I'm going to be working on now. So first, let me get that out. Put that on my desk. So um, I am going to use the window windows, although they are slightly, they're a bit crudely made. They're not very fine quality. Um, I'll just look them over a little bit. Um, take out these, you know, these little bits sticking out and I'll paint them. And then I'll have a look at what they are like. For instance, this bit here on the bottom. That really needs sanding and, uh, well, they need a bit of work. And the other thing I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do window sills. So I'll cut them off here so that this, the, the this framing will still be there, so I'll cut them right there. So they will go in there. Well, they're, they won't go in there. I need to sand that down and then they'll go in there. But then I'll have room to create a deeper windowsill. So that's the first thing I'll do and paint them. That's better. 
Now I have to paint them and I'm going to paint them the same color as the wall, I think. Warm white. <laughs> The first layer of paint is on, but um, you can see it's the wood is not very nice. It needs it's going to look at that. It's going to need a lot of work to get that to look acceptable. But I always find that if you put some paint on it, it shows better and then the grain of the wood will lift and uh, you'll get a better idea of how good or how bad it is. <laughs> so here are my windows, they're drying at the moment. And I've got some wood here and I'm going to use this as the windowsill. I'm going to cut this a little bit wider. It's not going to be this deep, it's going to be a little less deep, I think about here. And um, there's going to be something in the middle here. And I won't show you what it is yet because I'll be making that in another video. So I'm going to cut that down and cut it a little bit smaller. And there's a little, I've already cut a little, I don't know if you can see that, edge on that to make it look nice. Okay, I got a little bit confused in the order of my videos and um, I have made some videos that you'll be seeing later, but um, this one I've already shown you, <laughs> so I can show you the log burner. And that's going to go here in the center between the two windows. And, um, oh, some of the ashes are coming out. I have to be careful <laughs> again. Um, that's going to be in the middle and I've just cut my the piece of wood I'm using for the windowsill and um, of course that can go here because the log burner is going there so um, I'm going to cut a hole in there because I do want the windowsill to go behind the log burner so it's going to be one piece of wood and then have the window uh, the log burner sit right in a little like that cut out i don't know if that's a fire hazard <laughs> in real life but in miniature that will be okay there cut that out with my bandsaw actually. <laughs> so now that fits in there. Like that. I finished most of the sanding of the windows and I quite like the slightly aged and rubbed look of the window. So I think I'm going to keep it like that. Maybe do a tiny bit more work on them. And I've also done the um, window sill, although I still have to do a little bit. I have to repaint that and sand it a little bit better. That's not finished. The other thing I wanted to do, and I've got here uh, some molding, and this this is from my real house. Um, this came from a piece that's three meters long. I just cut a little bit off. And I'm going to use that as the support for the window sill. Not the whole thing. I'll just cut three or three, I'm saying three, two or four thin slices 
off there. And then I'll have support to go underneath there. And uh, it's a very easy way to make, what would you call them, consoles? You could make them wider. You'd have a lovely console and, or cut one like that and then a little bit like that. I'll cut them and I'll show you. There we are. I've cut a few pieces off. So I've got I've got four supports for my windowsill. Like that. And I've also cut a little um what could be a console and I'll just I just cut that to show you. Oh. And then if you uh, cut, here's the middle, that off, and that bit off, maybe leave a little bit here. And you'd have a lovely console. Like that. There, a little console. It's not quite finished yet, but uh, you get the idea. And actually, that should be flat. Well, you could put something on there, a vase with flowers or something. Uh, and the idea is very simple. So, just from a bit of molding. This part is finished and it was really easy. Um, I've aged it a little bit by uh, rubbing the edges and um, I like it that way. A little bit of contrast with the wall. Not much, but just enough. So I'll put that in place and continue with the rest. think that um, if you add something 3D to a room, like in this case the window sills and the um, uh, log burner, uh, it gives a little bit more interest to a room than just a flat wall. So yeah, a very simple solution, but uh, I really like that. And I thought I was going to do a lot more to the window seats, but um, I really like the simplicity. So that's it for today. Love it. Until next time.